Hi guys, this is Action DJ with Action Studio, and today we are going to be talking about effects of Resolume Arena. And uh, I don't mean effects, I mean effects. So, uh, to get started, we're going to go to the effects tab right here on the browser panel. Now, you remember in the first episode, uh, I told you guys about using view, property layout, and using the three panel layout system. And now, this is where its uh, core strengths are. So we can see the composition, the layer, and the clip panels, uh, and we have various effects right here. So let's click on a video uh, and say I want to give some effect here, uh, maybe bright lines. I'm going to just drag and drop, and then change some parameters to make it a little more obvious. Okay, and that's some nice dead mouse playing in the background. So there you go. I've changed how it looks it's giving out this really cool bright line sort of effect and it's all well and good but as soon as I click on another video it's gone Boom. Um, now what you would ideally want to do is not place each effect on individual clips unless that's what you're trying to go for like if you have a certain uh, kind of uh, visuals which needs uh, different effects on each clip then yes you can drag and drop them on the clip panel so they will only affect that clip but what's better is if you can actually put them onto the layer panel now let's say I want this uh, particular video also to be affected by the same layer now I can either drag and drop this and again change and set the parameters or what Resolume uh, allows me to do is to simply I click on this and I can just drag this guy from right here and just put it over here this is so cool or here so I'm going to drop it on the layer option and increase that and but you'll notice something nothing's happening I don't see the effect why not now I also mentioned this in the beginning and in the first episode that you have to make sure that the right layer is selected before you throw on the effects so I'm just gonna for the time being put this back here select the right layer by clicking on the layer name and you can see layer 3 now and then dragging and dropping this effect so boom there you go you can see now that the effect has taken place on the video and if I click on another one it's working on that one as well if I click on another one it's working on that one as well so this is what you would ideally want to do is you would want to place different effects on different layers but it's just like an individual uh, if an effect is put on an individual clip it would not affect the another clip it's the same for layers if it's put on one layer it would not affect the different layer with the same effect so if you would want to achieve sort of a global effect uh, um, option then what I would recommend is uh, is putting it on the composition tab so I'm going to grab this from here and like this and then put it on my composition now since I'm only using one composition, um, I don't have to make sure that it's the right composition because it will affect. So there we go, see? It's pretty cool. So that's what, what, what uh, I was trying to achieve and that's what's happening. Now they will be you gotta be careful I mean you gotta see what effects would work with all videos uh, just to make sure that you're putting them in the right place some are better off on some certain videos so you might wanna put those kind of videos in one layer let's say and then you know manage your effects in a way these things go a long way once you understand what you're trying to do and you do them in the correct uh, fashion since the beginning when you're making your templates when you're making your decks and your compositions it's just an easier process going forward so now you know how to apply the effect and how to apply it in different ways whether individually on clips layers or the whole composition uh, now I just want to talk about one more thing which is this guy right here dashboard now this is another cool feature by Resolume this allows you to map and now this map is a different kind of map but uh, let's go with it this allows you to map uh, various parameters to these dials and then you can map these dials to your external hardware so let's say I want to um, um, let's go to blow uh, and I want to sort of uh, play with the uh, width and height 
of uh, of these parameters at the same time like I want to increase the width and height at the same time just to sort of see what kind of effect can I uh, achieve so what I would do is uh, I would map these guys uh, to individual height and width and how I would do that is uh, a second I think I had to click on uh, mapping key mapping there we go oh no 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 oops sorry uh, um, I think I have to drag and drop there we go so let's say it's the height parameter that I want to map then I'm just going to drag and drop height and also width so now you see that both height and width are mapped to this particular dial and I'm now controlling them together and by going to mapping and going to MIDI key or OSC mapping I can then map this dial so instead of using two different dials to uh, sort of combine with width and height I have internally mapped one dial um, to uh, both width and height and what I can also do is I can do an invert so this guy has now jumped to full so when I use this that's gonna go down and that's gonna go up so creating a cool effect within itself so it's like you're changing the lines from going horizontal to vertical or vertical to horizontal or vice versa so it's a pretty cool way to sort of interact within your software and within the thing and uh, you have options here you can you know sort of a change it uh, play around with it figure it out uh, my job is to show you doors yours is to explore so go explore now let's talk about different kind of effects so there are some effects that would change or manipulate uh, your existing clips your video your content and then there are some effects that would actually generate content for you and some of them are pretty uh, awesome so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to sources because that's what they're called they're called sources uh, they are FFGL sources uh, um, you can find a lot of them uh, for free uh, you can find some paid there are some really great ones out there uh, but these are the ones that arena provides you with the software um, one of my favorite ones is stroboscope so I'm gonna just drag and drop scope 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 <laughs> stroboscope uh, put it on layer 3 and turn these two layers off click on this guy now it starts blinking so yes you guessed it this is what generates a strobe effect uh, you can obviously uh, play with the frequency that will tell you uh, how fast you want it to blink um, and again this this kind of effect is amazing because when you are a sort of a, you when you have mapped a lot of different surfaces uh, for example uh, in a big uh, let's say a concert uh, event kind of a scenario and or you have LED screens and stuff connected and you give this effect on everything altogether it really looks cool believe me I've tried it and it's fantastic uh, just something about stroboscope don't go full hundred because it's gonna stop because it's too much <laughs> so just keep it to a certain point um, and one thing which I want to show you guys uh, is if I go to dashboard I want to take the frequency link this guy now this thing right here is a parameter range which means it allows me to take it to a certain point so one when I link this guy this uh, uh, you know this dial it would not go above 99 so that's that's really cool because now I don't have to wonder or uh, if I'm at the right spot I don't have to figure out when to stop it automatically will go full 99% uh, and not 100 because that's the parameter I've set it to and you can even do it uh, for a minimum so if I go lowest I can sort of decide where I want to start with so I want to let's say start with right here right and maximum would take me a full hundred so there you go you can sort of set that range which is which is pretty useful believe me uh, when you're doing it and the best part is that you don't have to do it externally you can do it internally and then simply map this dial uh, to your external hardware which is fantastic um, again you can play around with other parameters uh, the hue saturation you can change different colors for the strobe you can actually make it pink green yellow blue whatever you want just you know by changing the hue saturation and brightness and the other effects uh, parameters that you have with the effects 
Uh, you have other things like Linescape, uh, also very cool. Um, let me show you how it works. So when you click on Linescape, uh, you can uh, sort of uh, play with parameters and it will generate uh, sort of a different kind of lines. And you can uh, always sort of uh, set, again, multiple parameters to different uh, links in dashboard over here and then attach that uh, to your external hardware to control such things. I have experimented this with projection mapping, the linescape uh, effect and it's really cool it, it comes up very nice so this is the uh, sort of a differentiation between effects and sources whereas uh, effects uh, apply um, effects on existing clips whereas sources create this for you and you can always combine your existing videos and the effects so i can click on let's say this guy uh, and take down the this thing down a little bit so now you see the in the background there are these lines that are happening and at the same time and even let's say stroposcope for that matter i can bring down this guy and now you see so i am merging uh different effects different layers and styles and again play with it you know just open it figure it out so i hope uh this uh, gives you some insight on effects and things you can do with it Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support as always. This is Action DJ. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks for projection mapping and Resident Marina. Thank you.